Good morning, everyone. Okay, good morning. Let us all stand up for prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning. Okay, good morning. So before you all take your seats, I want you to pick up pieces of paper under your chairs. Make your row straight and have your chairs properly aligned. Okay, thank you. You will now take your seats. Okay, so for your attendance, stay present. Your name is called Evelina Marcoleto, Jetly de Palco. Wow, everybody's present. The big round of applause. Okay, so did I give you an assignment? Okay, get your assignment and count of 3, 2, 1. But take your papers and if you're done, pass your papers in front. So may I see? Wow, a very impressive score. Okay, so now, before we'll proceed to our main topic for this morning, let us have first a short recap. Okay, yes, we can do the recap. Yes, Ms. Abram? Okay, last meeting we talked about part of speech. Very good. Okay, so today I have here four pictures in the board. And what are I going to do, class, is to arrange the jumbled letters. Okay, based from the pictures that we have seen. Okay, I will give you five minutes only to arrange the jumbled letters. Okay, are you done? Okay, thank you. Okay, who can answer number one? Yes, Mr. Abinino, declarative. Yes, correct. Number two? Yes, Mr. Brown, imperative. Very good. Another? Yes, Ms. Storke, interrogative. Very good. The last one? Yes, Ms. Akamwasa. Very good. Exclamatory. Okay, so class. What do you think would be our topic for this morning based on the pictures of the board? Yes, Miss uh, Miss De La Peña? Well, yes, very good. Our topic for this morning is about, it's all about type of sentences according to its function. Okay, so before that, let us have first our objective so that we will be guided as we go along with our discussion. Okay, everybody, can you read? Okay, thank you. So now, let us have first tackle what is declarative sentence. Okay. I want I want everybody to read. Okay, declarative sentence it states an idea and it ends with a very good. Okay, remember class that the declarative statements it uh, this argues to make a statement or it is provide information or express an opinion. And what would be the function of this sentence? So, they are used to convey information or uh, declare something. Yes, very good. So, like for example, the girl is singing. Violet is my favorite color. So, what have you seen from this sentence? It always ends up with a very good, yes, very good. Another is, uh, did you get that point at the back? Okay, shall we proceed now? Next is imperative sentence. Okay, what is imperative sentence? I want you to read Miss Storke. Okay, imperative sentence, it issues or commands or requests or it can express a desire or wish or like invitation, something like that. So remember class that a function of an uh, imperative sentence is they are um, they are used to use instruct or commands, requests or advice to someone. Okay, like for example, please lower your voice, respond immediately, or like that. Okay, so uh, is there something wrong with the sentence? Yes, Mr. Benito, can you give another example? Okay, please, uh, can you be here at 9 o'clock in the morning? Yes, okay, very good. So another, the third one is, we have here, interrogative sentence. Okay, interrogative, everybody read. It asks a question, it ends with a question mark. Okay, so remember class, that an interrogative sentence um, it is simply asking a question. So like, what is the function of an interrogative uh, sentence? So, interrogative sentence class, they are used to uh, request 
information or like um, asking some questions like that and it always end up with a question marks for example are you okay where do you live okay so did you get my point okay shall we proceed now to the last one yes we have exclamatory okay so here exclamatory everybody read it shows strong emotions and it ends with a exclamatory a uh, exclamation mark rather okay so remember class that an exclamatory so they are used to convey a strong emotions or feelings like such as being surprised anger or sad and, and whatsoever so the way how we respond the way how we talk to others it will reflect in what we feel okay so like for example the river is rising oh my goodness i won okay so uh do you have any questions about this topic yes okay done so far okay so now since you have already understood our topic for this morning let us have your let us have a group activity okay i want you to group into uh, five groups and each group will construct eight sentences in each type of this sentence according to its function okay i will be giving you five minutes to answer okay are you done okay pass your paper in front because i'll be the one to check it okay so for your assessments class i want you to get one more sheet of paper and what you are going to do is to answer it carefully because I already provided you an answer which is and it already contains a question. Okay, every role leader can be count up. How many are you? Okay, get one and pass. Okay, answer it carefully, silently. Okay, do not share your wrong answers. Okay, I'll be giving you five minutes to answer. Okay, are you done? Not yet? Okay, last two minutes. Okay. So now let us check your answers. Okay. Who will answer number one? Yes. Declarative sentence. Very good. Number two? Interrogative sentence. Number three? Imperative. Four? Exclamatory. Five? Declarative. Okay. Who get the who get perfect score? Okay, many of you get the got the high score so meaning you have already understand our lesson for this morning okay so now since we're done um for your assignment i want you to research in advance about um types of sentences according to its structure and provide two examples each so for your homework i want you to write it in a one half crosswise paper Okay, so am I understood, class? Okay, so any questions, clarifications, suggestions? Okay, none so far. Okay, everybody's done.